Lot 106 is an Oshkosh T6 Marathon Airport fire truck. It's got a Detroit diesel engine. It seems to be complete. The body is straight. The interior is good. I'm going to walk you around. It's a very large machine. It's hard for me to get it all in the camera. It's very tall. It's at least 10, 12 feet tall. 10, 10 feet tall. The tires hold air. They appear to be good. But they, they have some dry riding on it. It's got a it's four-wheel drive it's got some heavy differentials it's a heavy duty piece of equipment I've never sold one before this is the first time and this has been an experience it's a beast it was park driven here approximately two years ago it hasn't been moved ever since. I tried to start it, but it's a 24 volt system and my jumpers were not enough to make it even turn over. So the interior is good. All the gauges are there. The seats look good, no rips or tears. It's got only 6,000 miles. As you know, this, this is something that's not used quite often. In the airport, that's why they have so little miles. Here's the identification data. I took a picture of this. You'll be able to see it on the photograph. As you can see, it has no rust. It's in very good shape, especially for being a 1981. All the gauges are there. The foam, the water. It has a kicker engine. I see the start button here. It only has 240 hours. It should be a diesel engine. I couldn't access it. I don't know how. I tried. Couldn't find it. You'd have to really see this in person in order to understand the size of this thing. It's really big. And those of you, those of you that are in the fire apparatus business know what a, this unit is. It's a T6 made by Oshkosh. It's a rear engine, it's a pusher. Let me see if I can show you the engine. It's got a Detroit. It looks pretty dry. I don't see no visible oil leaks. I checked the oil, the oil looks good. It has a big fan shroud in the back. <coughs> oh, it's heavy. All right, I'm gonna take you on top of the unit. It's got a ladder, aluminum ladder. It's got two red lights. It's got a gun in the front, a sprayer. I don't know. This may be good for Latin America or a small airport, private airport. I said I've never sold one of these before. This will be a first. I wish I would have had a better picture to show you, very better video. It's cramped up in here. There's no room. I'm gonna walk around the outside of the fence to see if you can get an idea by looking at the objects nearby. So you can get an idea of the size of this thing. Maybe good for a movie. A movie prop or 
I don't know. Maybe for scrap. But hopefully it goes for the right purpose of what it is. A private airport would be nice to have a piece of equipment like this. Very low hours, very low miles. Straight body, good luck. <laughs>